For us though, we are gonna be cooling down thanks to it moving to the east and we are gonna see more clouds in the area and that cool down is gonna gradually start today, taking us into most of the week. Live look though from Domenico's on the wharf in Monterey. You can see those low clouds hanging out with us this morning. We are seeing some foggy conditions along the coast on Highway 1 there. The denser fog is being uh, noted from drivers around Marina into Watsonville. We're also getting some fog reports around the Prunedale area. So please take your time this morning. We do have areas of fog and again it is dense in a few spots. Bigger picture, this is the ridge of high pressure I was just talking about. The actual high sitting around Texas here and again it has moved off to the east. It was hanging out on the southwest there. So it has kind of pushed off to the east of it. That's allowing for this trough low pressure to the north to dig down into our area a little bit. So we're going to see a gradual cool down today more so as we head into midweek. Temperatures around the coast will be dropping into those low to mid 60s inland. We're going to be replacing those 90s with 80s and those 80s with 70s. I, we're going to see less of those triple digits. We're still going to have some triple digits today. We're going to see less of them throughout the week. And then this all changes as we head into the weekend. If you like the cool weather, enjoy it because we have more warm weather as far as what it looks like on the models so far coming in this weekend and this ridge of high pressure will build back in giving us warmer temperatures both around the coast and for those inland locations. This will also give us more sunshine as well. Over the next few days we are going to see cloudier conditions thanks to that trough digging into our area. Uh, we are going to have some gusty winds this afternoon around the coast and for the valleys. We'll start to see those winds pick up around that lunchtime hour and they're going to stick with us for the majority of the afternoon. Picking up in the Salinas Valley, of course, very typical for this time of year around later afternoon, early evening for the Salinas Valley and they will start to calm down as we head into the overnight hours. We are going to see more clouds around the coast today. Again, our marine layer is kind of deepening a bit, so we are seeing more widespread low clouds. They're not as compressed and we are still dealing with some fog this morning. We will have some clearing on the north side of the bay in Santa Cruz. That's where we're going to find our warmer temperatures today. Of course, those northwest winds will continue to keep those low clouds around the peninsula throughout the afternoon. Again, we're not going to get rid of them. A little different compared to what we've been seeing this weekend. And then those low clouds will kind of start to fill back into the Salinas area and eventually the entire coast filling into the valleys overnight. We're talking Salinas Valley, Karma Valley. We'll start to see some of those low clouds in the Hollister Gilroy area tomorrow morning as well. And we will be dealing with patchy fog tomorrow morning, uh, maybe even squeezing a little bit of drizzle out. Again, warmer on the north side of the bay, upper 60s to even some mid 70s in Santa Cruz there, 74 for Santa Cruz for a high, 86 in Felton. We'll be in those low 90s in the San Lorenzo Valley, 91 from Ben Lomond up into Boulder Creek, 65 at Davenport. Again, warmer temperatures will be on the north side of the bay, Aptos, Watsonville in those low 70s, but as you head south into Marina, 65, 71 for Salinas, 87 in Hollister. We still We'll have some warm temperatures out there and the Santa Clara Valley will be in those low 90s. Northwest winds will keep the Monterey Peninsula cool today in those low 60s, 61 for Pebble to mid 60s, 66 for Monterey and Carmel. Up and down the Salinas Valley, other than Gonzales, which will be at 78, the majority of the valley is going to be sitting in those 80s today. And as I mentioned, we still have locations that are still going to be a bit toasty in those upper 90s to low 100s. Of course, this is Bradley, Parkfield, Pinnacle, National Park, the San Antonio Valley there, and along the Big Sur Coast, still warm as well. We're going to see those temperatures in those upper 80s.